Hmm. Om Shanti, all of you, you can hear me? <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, start the session coming. To the sitting portion. Keep your back next to you alive. <clears throat> I'll sit. I'll sit. Observe your, your breath, breath, the breath which is just observe. Now take a slow, long, slow inhalation, deal and agree with awareness. Now inhale for the three times on. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your both palm, rub your palm. Place on your eyes. Breathe slowly while blinking, looking at your palm gently. Open up your eyes with a big smile and say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So, till now we discuss about the Ayurveda and we understand how the diseases are forming, what causes the disease, imbalance of the three doshas, and we learn that how we can, with the help of the diet, moderation, and then the water intake, we can control at least 84% of the disease. Now today, we're gonna start with the therapy, yoga therapy. So yoga therapy is basically we providing the treatment and uh, not only taking the Ayurveda help like a yoga therapist, it take the help of allopathy even, and also take the help of the naturopathy Yunani medicine, and yes, along with the Ayurveda. So basically, holistic approach. The motto of the yoga therapy is what? To heal the person, okay? And in the best way, to take the help of the yoga. So through the help of the yoga, Ayurveda, and other, you know, uh, medicine, we try to cure the person, okay? Sometimes we trying to cure, sometimes we are trying to uh, uh, 
um, basically control the symptoms. Certain diseases which is incurable and so whole lifestyle have to change and the treatment remain like forever. It's like diabetic. Diabetic, in order to treat the diabetic, uh, this problem is not basically disease, it's a kind of lifestyle. If So we have to correct the lifestyle of that person and it's a lifelong, right? Uh, the therapy would be remaining for the lifelong till the time he's gonna die. So certain treatment, it's not like you are giving the pills. It's like you have to change everything. How, when they wake up, how they are eating, how they are drinking and time for sleep and two time of the routine, the yoga routine, which we're gonna describe them. So this is the yoga therapy. I'm just giving you the brief idea about it what kind of treatment we provided but it's basically individual then diet control we talked about what kind of special food they have to take it in order to bring the their three dosha balance so now from today we're going to understand and i'll give you the general guidelines again and trying to you know make this practice safe because individually we have the treatment but there's a general guidelines which you know you can tell everybody and you can even follow yourself and even tell your family members that even okay so these things we're going to approach individual treatment for that you have to study the person okay so and for that you require the deeper knowledge so and which in this case is not possible okay so this is the some limitation but yes, I'll guide you. So if somebody is coming to your class and you get you figure out certain problem because on the symptom basis, so you are able to help them. Okay, and you can modify the assistance recording. So today problem which we're gonna discuss about. Let's talk about today topic that is a yoga therapy topic is begin with the bone related problems. So bone related problems, we take one problem of the bone that is arthritis. I'll show you the picture, what is the arthritis and how it look like. So bone related problems, there's a main bone related problems like rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis and osteoporosis, right? And uh, we have back related issues, um, disc herniated problems, spine related issues, right? Everything is connected to the bone, your skeleton system. So your bones are made of the calcium, right? And the phosphorus and the other minerals. So when you have, there's a natural way of, you know, regeneration of the bones, which cause the osteoporosis is like because of old age, certain problems come naturally to your body, which you can prevent by maintaining your lifestyle. But certain problems, you call them. It's not because of old age, because of your uh, uh, the whole, you know, uh, the consumption which you are giving to yourself, uh, autoimmune disease, certain which kind of uh, living, 
certain kind of climate you are living like uh, like polluting cities you are living there that also caused the problem your diet your sedentary lifestyle um, lack of activity these you know cold many many issues to words your body and especially it damaging your bone in the deeper level so bones also the other parts which bones are connected connective tissue is also affected ligaments uh, your uh, fascia your uh, you know uh, tendon these would be affected also these parts also uh, you know because you are not moving your body much and these parts also get problem so just take the one example of the bone that is a rheumatoid arthritis okay so rheumatoid arthritis there is a hundred type first hundred more than hundred types of the arthritis the common is osteoarthritis osteo is like a inflammation osteo means bone arthritis means inflammation okay so bones inflammation cause many causes like your lifestyle smoking drinking then lack of uh, your mobility and then infection bacteria infection that also inflame your bone that can be cause okay then another factor which is uh, untreatable bacteria still you can treat and other factors you can correct but there's a rheumatoid arthritis which is basically happen because of autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases is like your body go against your cells certain part of the cells go against with the body other body cell and uh, that is the problematic situation it's a basically aggravated situation which is not treatable because when your body go against with your body how you going to treat right so autoimmune disease is mostly like that so cancer is another autoimmune disease um, the aut- other autoimmune disease is uh, aids and then hiv these are the other autoimmune diseases which is very you know life time you have to uh, take the precaution there is no permanently cure right now okay so maybe in future we find the permanent cure for autoimmune diseases vitiligo is also autoimmune diseases uh, body stop making the melanin skin cells start damaging the skin uh, the body layer so these are the autoimmune diseases so let's i have given you the example now let's come back to the arthritis in arthritis basically what happened it's a, you can see in the picture it's make your finger swelling so we have epicondyle like uh, you can see like fingers it started with the fingers basically stiffness in the finger and there is swelling and you can see if you study the anatomy this is called synovial joint and these synovial joints why it called because it filled with the synovial fluid so you can see that degraded cartilage cartilage is damaged here and the thickened synovial membrane so membrane become thick and that's caused the inflammation and because of that when inflammation is there when you move your finger it causes the pain so much part you did in your anatomy class all the joints which you are moving it's called synovial joints because it's filled with the synovial fluid and there is a cartilage cushion which provide the you know uh, cartilage is like a cushion which coming between the two joints of bone <clears throat> when they are damaged 
it causes the pain when you are moving your finger your knee your neck any joints it can but begin with your fingers okay with your hands so this rheumatoid arthritis here uh basically your immune system and um, i hope you understand but i'll just give you the brief uh, information about the immune system immune is basically uh, your immune system is basically fighting fighter fighter or the barrier who fight with the bacteria outside invader uh let's take the example of back uh, like mosquito bite when you get the mosquito bite that area is inflamed you feel itching and inflammation there that inflammation happen because of the fight going between in the bacteria which invaded in your body and and the fighter the white blood cells that inflammation is showing the result that okay everything is fine but in autoimmune diseases and rheumatoid arthritis that white blood cells get the wrong information and that okay uh, it's like uh, when soldiers are fighting on the border and they get the wrong information that there is a attack by the other country but actually there is no attack so same thing happen in your body your white blood cells because of your lifestyle and other you know factors they get the wrong information they cannot figure out what is right and wrong and they start killing their own cell the body cell and they attack the their joints there's no invasion there no bacteria invasion but they misunderstood they get the wrong information and they still continue the fighting and they fight with the, their body cells so cells of their your bone and then it causes the inflammation and then it's prolonged a time right every all the cells get the wrong information and they keep on fighting and so inflammation continue and because of the climate the inflammation become aggravated food also it going to aggravate the inflammation and uh, the cold weather also in increase the inflammation these are the factor also which going to increase the inflammation so these things happen in your body so basically to correct your cell and actually you have to correct the coding of the cell dna coding of the cell and for that you require the very very longer period of time it's like more than i think uh, minimum 2 years or minimum 1 to 2 years to change the coding of the cell because cells are defaulted here their programming is changed so to change the coding of cell level we give them certain diet certain you know lifestyle certain yoga practice i'll talk about it don't worry about it but arthritis this thing is happening and that's why it's it remain incurable in allopathy but in ayurved there is a hope and in yoga therapy there is a little bit hope but what happened because you required strong determination to prolong the treatment people you know leave the treatment in between and that's why they we could not find out the accurate result permanent cure for that but yes symptoms are reduced till when they are keep practicing but the moment they stop the routine the problem again come back and they again going through the same sick problems so as i told you minimum at least 1 to 2 years but people doesn't have patient they are not have sub you know patience towards the treatment the method understand to cause the arthritis rheumatoid arthritis it will take 20 to 30 years why because it's not the one day it just start projecting on your body is many many years you are doing the wrong lifestyle following everything and not listening your body 
and then that cause it's then it degrade your cells it's not like very first time symptoms come later on but it's very deep rooted to change the coding of the cells again bring into the regeneration regenerate its cells and correct them their coding you have to be patient you have to have the long strong determination then believe me the results would be the 100% so let's begin the treatment now the things which affect it in the rheumatoid arthritis finger wrist elbow knee hip and stiffness in early signs of the arthritis any kind of arthritis is stiffness in these areas especially in your fingers morning stiffness in the joints and if it's remaining more than 1 hour it means it is a symptom of the rheumatoid um, of the arthritis any kind of arthritis uh swelling you develop range of motion is limited you cannot move and if you're moving your body parts you feel it become a little bit difficult and slowly when this situation is aggravated it affected lungs eyes even you start uh, your eyes start burning itching of the skin skin feel numbness and sometimes needles kind of tickling and also it caused the insomnia and slowly and gradually every organ started affecting by this problem so if these symptoms are visible go to the doctor and go for the test so complete blood count test you can go for it and uh, that gonna through that you can figure out you have and there's a two other test is rheumatoid factor and anti ccp which antibody test which figure out that how much antibody is active you know activated in your body how much your body is produce the antibody so these are the things which you have to do when you figure out the symptoms okay figure out you get the arthritis or not or which kind of arthritis you will get now after figuring out the treatment diet be very important too and this is the diet which i going to tell is can be followed by all kind of problems of bone related issues so i hope this much you understood okay what is arthritis and in this we also covering the the kind of problems which is related to the bones osteoporosis same treatment we can give them okay and back related issues again they can follow the same treatment but yes little bit posture are changed asans little bit changed so we going to talk about the diet asan meditation chat karma and the breathing practice we're going to include okay and by making the routine uh, you can help your students and this would the treatment would be general providing you general idea about it okay not individual it would be the safe practice we're going to take the safe side okay so arthritis we start with the diet diet especially for the arthritis okay understand when winter arthritis is the problem which caused by the vat especially all kind of bone related issues mostly mostly affected by the vat imbalance in the body so vat should be i already talked about that if vat go imbalance what kind of diet one should have right so according to the three dosha so that also you can follow and specific diet which we going to talk about it we going to discuss about it that is so in arthritis wheat oats rice white rice 
these things should be completely void like cold anything which is cold and understand i talked about what people cannot bear the cold so you have to give them hot hot food okay so hot food is like millets millets pulses uh chickpea black chickpea okay the you can make the chapati of chickpea black chickpea so jisko we call chane ka aata okay black chickpea is very good millets all varieties of the millets are good they can have ragi in their diet black flour they can include in their diet and by adding certain spices turmeric and ajwain a j w a i n ajwain you have to mix in the flour make it dough and then make the fresh chapati fresh bread without adding the bacteria into that okay fermentation is not required so you know you know the chapatis right indian chapatis have you seen the otherwise google it so you can make the fresh chapati okay so by adding these spices garlic you can add because i told you already garlic play very important role in order to control the vat and arthritis also can have the garlic so garlic you can add garlic uh, chapati you can make same way how you make the bread but without adding the bacteria for fermentation you can bake it you can bake on the fire okay that bread you can have fresh bread freshly dough you can use and dough ragi uh, and barley then millets all varieties of millets black chickpea uh all the pulses do you can make it black rice also you can use it okay by adding these spices you can make fresh bread rest of the dough you cannot use okay no wheat no white flour any kind of gluten completely avoided okay gluten is not good for the arthritis even for diabetic also so then fruits citrus food should be avoided completely so all kind of citrus fruits unripened fruits completely avoided the fruits which they can have ripened papaya ripened pineapple chiku ripened mango ripened banana ripened these fruits they can have and again adding the ginger dry ginger powder rock salt and bhuna hua jeera uh, roasted cumin powder these spices you have to sprinkle like make the fruit salad or one at a one time uh, you can use the fruit and then you can have it okay so one time you can have banana one next day you can have pineapple but you have to add these spices okay then vegetable uh they cannot have the salad the cucumber radish you know these things they cannot have boiled beetroot they can go for it boiled beetroot okay not raw boiled beetroot the salad which they can have a little bit difficult but onion garlic ginger salad they can have so <laughs> you know but they have only this option if they get arthritis they going to have <laughs> very yes, difficult for eat it but yes ginger garlic ginger garlic and onion salad okay small chop it put the again same spices which i talked about it roasted cumin dry ginger powder and pinch of uh, you can add the uh, rock salt and then little bit few drops of lemon little very little lemon is not allowed but very few drops of lemon they can have it okay very few drop but beside that they cannot have the lemon only in the salad okay and salad should be taken in the noon time 
when they are having their lunch that time completely boycott the all the varieties of the cauliflower okay so all the variety cabbage um uh, cabbage broccoli lentils everything which is um is a form of the cauliflower or their same belong to same family completely boycott brinjal is like eggplants and arbi i don't know what you call in english arbi it's like sweet potato potato sweet potato and potato and there's a, another form it look like a potato but it's not potato it's very soft so all varieties of the potato should be avoided <laughs> in short so mushroom they have to boycott in their diet okay cucumber radish boycott completely it's cold in nature in pulses they can have moong pulse only moong pulse is green pulse stuff with the skin and how they cooked it not in the cooker in the open lid and they have to cook in the iron vessel or the clay pot with little bit covered the lid little bit covering it and on the low flame adding the ginger turmeric black pepper and the garlic and that's how they prepare the moong green pulse okay adding the pure water into that that's how they make the green pulse green pulse soup they can have green pulse they can use for the curry even but preparation should be like this clear now the best for them the cow milk but uh, cow milk is very good for controlling the arthritis and the vat related problems all kind of bone related issues cow milk is very good get your own cow <laughs> invest your money in the cow are you way talks about the cow milk benefit and ghee even urine cow dung tremendous benefit of all the parts whatever coming from the cow especially their flesh don't start eating the cow it doesn't talk about it okay so but yes milk ghee the product which is coming made uh, made of the milk and the product which is uh, made of their waste urine and the poo of the cow is also very beneficial so you can get the cow if you have the space if you don't get the cow buy hire some village people and give them money to get your you know take care of your cow that's the best investment local happy cow okay local happy cow so it means local cow which is climately you know born it's not breed cow not jersey cow i'm talking about it or maybe you have the another animal yak like in most of the countries like especially the north india side we have the yak they take the milk of yak they don't have the cow so yak milk is good so goat milk if you don't get the cow so goat milk you can take okay these milks are making your bones strong camel milk in uh, uh, you know there's a site you have camel so camel milk you can take so animals milk is very beneficial for keeping making your bones strong but yes cow milk play very tremendous role in order to especially treatment of the arthritis but if you are vegan you can choose no soya milk you can choose the almond milk and cashew nut milk okay so <clears throat> cashew nut milk and almond milk you can go for it if you are vegan but prepare at your home then dry nuts can be given to them walnut almonds uh flax seed pumpkin seed these things should they include in their diet all varieties of the nuts they can have it okay can curd no no curd strictly curd should not be given to the arthritis patient but osteoporosis 
other problems of the bones they can have the yogurt and curd but not arthritis any form of the arthritis they cannot have the yogurt clear this you have to make it clear so write it down separately if any form of the arthritis strictly no yogurt no curd okay but osteoporosis and other bone related issues they can have the yogurt and curd good for the bones okay by adding the little bit limestone into it pinch off if you if they don't have the kidney issue they can add the little pinch of the limestone in the yogurt and they can have which improve their even it heal their your back related issues discarnated issues other problems of the bone but in arthritis they can have the limestone a uh, little bit it's like the whole day they have to ha add pinch small grain of the limestone okay small grain of limestone you can google it later on limestone very uh, one small grain of uh, wheat or the grain of rice uh with the juice pineapple juice or pomegranate juice they can have not not with the yogurt anti stomach then they have to keep changing their oil completely avoid the coconut oil mustard oil yes ghee they can have olive oil yes they can have and always they have to go for the massage castor for massage they can use the almond oil castor oil sesame oil okay and mustard oil cheap is the best cheap and best oil is the mustard oil if you're not rich go with the mustard oil before and massage in the sun while taking the sun bath is very good 30 minutes morning 30 minutes evening they have to take the massage then portly massage making the using the certain spices warm uh, i think that for you you will get in the ayurveda go for the portly massage in ayurveda these are certain spices you have to use it i think you do wrongly so i'm not going to talk about that so go in ayurved uh, center and tell them you need the portly massage they will do okay otherwise you can make at home also but there is a difficulty preparing for those things then don't sleep in during the night that's i'm talking about these are the specific food but experiment we cannot do much experiment on them but uh, yes the food which i talked about these are the safe fruits and vegetable most of the thing they have to boycott they have to make their diet simple okay but still body is if if like banana sometime it's not suitable for everyone so you can check the banana i think only the banana is the one who going to create the problem rest of the fruits would be digested if you add certain spices into that it easily going to digest it okay but most of the thing you have to avoid it because you don't know as i told you you don't you cannot go with all the foods because each and every food has the hot and the cold in nature and cold nature you have to avoid it and you have to give yourself the hot food but you cannot keep in your mind the whole list right which food is hot which food is cold and by preparation you are changing the procedure even you make the hot food cold and cold food hot so there is so many rules regulation that's why i'm telling you stick to this don't do any other experiment because for that you require deeper deeper understanding of the these ayurveda so don't make it complicated just strictly follow these things okay <clears throat> then uh allow uh, certain things uh, massage yes i talked about it massage is very beneficial sun bath can be given to them morning and evening time and by giving the gentle massage to each and each and every part 
of their body very much important then they have to take the bath with the salt so they can use the salt in the water and then they have to take the bath daily so these going to reduce the inflammation of their bones cow ghee is very much important for treatment of the arthritis even massage they can do with the a to level cow ghee is available in the market but if you are vegan you can apply the mustard okay you can go with the mustard and olive these oil you can use it but the best is cow ghee a to level cow ghee. completely avoid the tomato oranges all the dry form of mango and uh, yogurt any forms made of the yogurt buttermilk any form of the yogurt and the heavy uh, lentils so soya is heavy and then um, what we call white chickpea and then rajma what you call anything which is heavy you know heavy in digestion you completely avoid because in arthritis the jathar agni is very weak very very weak so these one has to take the precaution in the diet and this is the same diet for rest of the people except yogurt intake okay except yogurt intake these same diet they can also follow the other problems which is related to your skeletal muscular system related problems back issue or osteoporosis any part of the inflammation you can follow this diet clear any doubt till here okay so let's end the session with the one time move tomorrow we're going to discuss about dasin and other parts okay dasin again i'll tell you the specific asan for arthritis and the other problems because one by one we not going to take the problems it will take more time and we don't require that much time um, we don't require that much things to go into that deep level so this is a general guidelines and safe okay let's end the session here with one time more and shan gently close your eyes go into your asin keep your back neck straight relax take a deep breath and see in here and see in here for the own shanti 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 join your both hands tap the hands Please open your eyes. Feel the warmness. Very slowly, while thinking, looking at your palm, gently open up your eyes with a great smile. Say Om Shanti. Meet you at meditation class. Bye bye. Take care.